Did you know that the Russians showed up late to the 1908 Olympics? Well, if not, you're going to find out today. Let's get started. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Virtual History 360. I'm Mr. Wade, and I'm here to help you understand history just a little bit better. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to stick around until the end of the video to find out what happened to those Russians in the 1908 Olympics. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. Today, we're going to be talking about different calendars and how they have changed over the years. But for this video, I think we should work our way backwards. You see, the currently accepted calendar is the Gregorian calendar. It was introduced in October of 1582 and was designed to fix the dates so that they would match up with the seasons. This announcement came from Pope Gregory XIII and the switch was pretty easy for the countries that listened to the Pope. I mean, all they had to do was eliminate 10 days from October and everything was back to where it should be. But if you are a country that did not listen to the Pope, then you did not make the change right away. Great Britain and the American colonies that were with them did not make the change until 1752, and by then they had to eliminate 11 days. And although it was 170 years later, they weren't the last. In fact, the last country to adopt the Gregorian calendar was Greece in the year 1923. The calendar used before this was the Julian calendar, which was established by Julius Caesar in the year 46 BCE. This standardized calendar was designed to account for the fact that the year is actually a little bit longer than 365 days, about 365.25. So they added a leap day every four years. Now the system pretty much solved the problem of the seasons changing dates, but it was not perfect. The leap day actually adds a little bit too much. So after almost 1600 years, there were 10 extra days. And this is why the Catholic Church wanted to change the calendar because Easter was shifting away from the spring. Now, if you ask me, I would say that for 2000 years ago, they did a pretty good job, but the Gregorian calendar is better. Now, not saying that it's perfect, but by eliminating one leap day every 400 years, the Gregorian calendar will only lose a day after about 3,600 years. Of course, there are other calendars that are even more accurate, but you know, personally, I think I'm okay with our current setup. What do you think? Now, what about those Russians? You see, they still use the Julian calendar and did not adopt the Gregorian calendar until 1918. Well, the 1908 Olympics were held in London and they were already using the Gregorian calendar. So even though the Russians arrived a few days early, because they were on an older calendar, they were actually late. So what were the consequences? One event the Russians were expected to do well in was shooting. And because they arrived late, they did not get to compete, which allowed the USA to win gold and Great Britain to win silver. This is a real shame for those Olympians, but the Russians did have six other athletes that did get to compete and they did win three medals. So I guess it's not the end of the world, but now that everyone is on the same Gregorian calendar, something like this really should not ever happen again. Tell you what, leave a comment below telling me what you think of the story of the Russians missing the start of the 1908 Olympics in London. Let me know what you think, okay? And of course, while you're there, go ahead and hit that like button for me and, you know, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check out my other videos like the ones you see over here on the side. You know, I have all kinds of history videos. I have world history, I have US history, I even have civics videos. And get this, some of my videos are even shot in 360. You know, you can look all the way around. So be sure to check them out because I know you're gonna like them. So for Virtual History 360, I'm Mr. Wade. I'll see you next time.